Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do a side-by-side -side of the old Colosseum by Days of Wonder and the new one by Tasty Minstrel Games. And I'm going to kind of look at the components and just kind of compare them, give you my take, and then you guys can decide which one you like better. So here are the boxes. The Days of Wonder are going to get that Ticket to Ride size box square. With the Colosseum, it's going to be a little bit thinner and smaller. And I'm going to put this one on top of it. Now I've lined up these sides, so this is about what's left over. They're the same height, but this one's a little bit wider. You're going to see that the Colosseum from Days of Wonder is maybe, well, it's still a cartoon style, perhaps they're more realistic. The, the lines are going to look more realistic on this one. Uh, look than this one. This one seems to me to be um, more abstract looking. I do like the artwork. Actually, I like the artwork on both. This one shows a little bit more of the Colosseum you'll be, you'll be in. Now, what you're seeing right now is a slip cover that's on this one. So I'm gonna take that off and show you what the front of the box looks like. So this gives you a little bit more of a feeling that you're in a Coliseum, very more, very much more um, cartoonish. You got one guy fighting, there's some horses in the background, a guy there, and this tiger versus this kind of look. I mean, this is kind of a weird placement on this one about how this lion is kind of like eating this guy's leg. But you can see more of when you play the game, this is more of what the game is going to feel like, perhaps. But I do like both covers. I probably like this one to be more dynamic. Um, I think it's up to a matter of taste, and perhaps I've spoken too long about the covers. So this is the Days of Wonder board. I'm going to pull this one out. First, it is a six side out. It's going to have some very bland colors. I'm going to try to get as much of this as possible. It's a very big board. Uh, it's got a score track around it. It's got this around it and these in the middle, which you'll see on the Coliseum one. You have a man running a chariot down here for no purpose for artwork, but the colors being a little bit bland and artistic. Really, all you're using is the score track, this amount around here. These will be for your bids and the turn track. So that's kind of what that looks like. Um, and you'll be building across this. So I'm going to put the new one on top of it so you can see the size. So this one is a, I'm going to put it at the top um, so they're even at the top. Now this one, as you can see, is a little bit longer, but the old one is definitely wider. Can you see that in the shot? Can you see how wide it is? Okay. So. This part hanging off shows you how much taller it is. And you can see underneath how much wider it is. Now this one is very much more vibrant, more colorful. You're still gonna have the score track around, so fundamentally it's the same. You do have where it looks like maybe you're in the middle of a market or an area. Perhaps that'll bring the theme a little bit. Now you're gonna start on the tracks. This is the same track you saw on the other one where you'll be building around it. And then the building one's here. And the turn track will be way up there out of the way. Which one do I like better? Uh, I think I might like this board better. I like the colorful nature of it. I like the um, kind of how it curves up a little bit. I like that. Otherwise, functionally, they're the same. This one just has more color, so I would pick the Tasty Minstrel Games version. To draw strings. In the Days of Wonder, you get a black one with a little cord on it that you can push in. And this one, you don't get that little clipper, but I do like the feeling of this. This is a really nice feeling. Um, it's a drawstring bag. But purple or black, what do you like better? The next thing I want to show you is the insert. So with, with the Days of Wonder version, you're going to get a, a picture that shows you where everything goes, and you're going to have a really nice insert. Everything is going to fit in. I'm not going to show you the Tasty Minstrels version because they don't have an insert, which is fine for me because I, I, I like a custom insert. But I don't mind bagging my stuff up either, but just know that this one comes with a fairly nice custom insert into it that will theoretically fit all of your pieces. In the Tastery Minstrel version, you get little guys that look like this. These are wooden meeples. 
on both sides look pretty cool. And you'll have these as scoring and um, turn markers, which look fairly good. In addition, the Tasty Minstrel Club will give you these stickers that if you prefer this kind of artwork on it, you can utilize some of this and some freebies just to have fun with. So these can go on those if you so prefer, or just leave them the way they are. As for the Days of Wonder, you're going to get little markers like this. So, And I'll show you these side by side in just a moment. These are big wooden pieces, and they have like little crowns and stuff on them. <laughs> to be very honest, I like these quite a bit. So let me show you what they might look like side by side. The Tasty Minstrel is here. And the Days of Wonder one is here. Now, all of this is very creative, and I like this quite a bit. I probably like this one better. Your mileage may vary. But this just doesn't look human enough. <laughs> this is really awesome. I really like it quite a bit. I'll show you what the blue ones look like. So, obviously, this is Tasty Minstrel. This is the Days of Wonder. I mean, they did go through great care on this, so it's kind of hard to complain about it. And then... <clears throat> Here's the other one. And then you can always put the stickers on these. And this one's just plain. There's no clothing or anything on it. And then I'll show you. Up close side by side. This one is the Tasty Minstrels. And this is the Days of Wonder. Just a piece of wood. Well, this one has some riveting or definition to it. As for dice, this is what you're going to get with the Tasty Minstrel game. The new one, the Collector's Edition. These are all engraved in there. No stickers. Now these are, they feel more wooden, they look wooden, and these are printed on there, so they're not engraved in there. Um, I like both dice. This one's more square. These are more rounded. I think this might come down to a personal taste. What do you like more? Uh, I might like the bigger, chunky ones. These ones feel cheaper? I don't know. Are they? I have no idea about pricing or whatever. Um, I'd probably go with the Days of Wonder ones, although they're a little bit smaller in this one. Um, but that's the difference. So now let's talk about the money. In Days of Wonder, the money was actually not bad. And for its time, you're going to get uh, little cardboard pieces of money. There's plenty of it in there. You can kind of see it all piled up in the background. It's actually fairly nice. Each piece was unique and looked fairly good. And then Tasty Minstrel came along. I'm trying to grab one of each piece. And in this version, you're going to get these metal coins that are just fantastic. Let's see, which one did I not put out there? I didn't put the five out there. And these just blow those out of the water. As nice as those are, and those would be great for 90% of the games I have, this, this, my friends, is phenomenal. Hear that? Very nice. Each piece is unique. Has a different marker on it, a different from the game. And just looks phenomenal. This blows it out of the water. Great job, and you get a lot of it in there. Very, very good job with that. So in the original game, when you would add Season Ticket, it'd be plus five, and Spectators three. These are very nicely colorful, look great on your on your board, and has exactly the information you want. The Spectator's been replaced with this, and the Season Ticket replaced with this. Now it looks kind of neat when you put it on your game. I probably like this better, because it lays flat, and also has the numbers on it that you need, where this is just... Uh, you know, that, that wooden marker that you would have. The both look great. I probably like this one a little bit better. Your mileage may vary. I just like it because it has the information there. That's very useful and helpful to me. Let me next do the player aids, okay? So this is what you had with a, a full outline of everything that was in the game, all the uh, actions, the game turn, how everything kind of worked. And this is the Days of Wonder version. In the Tasty Minstrel, Ignore the art because the art is different on each character. It doesn't really have any bearing on the game. You're going to get the same layout. Now what they've done is they've upgraded some of these pieces. They kind of show you how they work a little bit, which is nice. I like that quite a bit. Now on the back of this, it showed you every possible show. You could This is on the back of the Days of Wonder player aid. It shows you every possible show with everything that you needed. This looks like gobbledygook unless you're playing the game. Then you're like, wow, for a couple plays, like this is very, very useful. Uh, this is also done on the back of the Tasty Minstrel version, where they do this, but just less of a spreadsheet and more of, okay, these are, this is all the tickets that can be purchased. Uh, I'm going to show those two side by side. Uh, I'll show 
the front. I mean, that's pretty, pretty uh, much the same. It's the back. It's just a rather of which version do you like better? Do you like each individual ticket out? Which this still has. But I think I might like this better because you can see the scarcity of things. Although this probably is more pleasing to the eye. Uh, this one right here is probably more useful. I don't know. It's just a, I think this might be come down to personal taste. So that's kind of what the player aids do. I think both do a really good job. Let's take a look at the rule books. Now Days of Wonder obviously is known for having phenomenal components. You're going to open this up. Get a picture of it set up. And instructions are set up with some of the components. And it goes through the turns. Uh, this one looked a little bit more bland to me than what I'm about to show you. That just might that was the the colors and the style they were going for. I think this rule book was very, very good. Some additional information at the back kind of tells you how to do some extra stuff and an online play. With this one, um, I really like the way it looks. Uh, obviously, this version used vibrant colors, I think, a little bit better to its palette of what it was trying to do. Um, Maybe it simplified the rules and clarified it, and, that, and that's to be expected with, uh, you know, a second edition, if you will, that you should be uh, improving upon things, right? That's what you're expecting, so it's hard to hold that against the Days of Wonder version. Um, but I think they both are pretty phenomenal. I like both of these, and this gives you another little cheat sheet on the back where the other one gave you some online play uh, to each their own. I think both row books are very good. It might just be a matter of taste to what style you like. show you some of these tiles. Now the Days of Wonder tiles are tremendously larger. This is the Days of Wonder. This is a Tasty Minstrel. I do like the size of these a lot better. Very thick. Very nice. Um, I'm not really sure about little small components like this. I wonder why they decided to go in this direction. But I'm going to show you a couple more. Here is the fighter from the Days of Wonder version. And here is the smaller tile of the Tasty Minstrel version. I like this one better. It has, you know, it not only is it bigger, but it has the whole body on it. I like that quite a bit. Well, this one is very, very tiny of just the head. Now let me show you the difference in what you're trying to build. So here's the Days of Wonder version. You're gonna have the 16 and the 20 coins. You're gonna have what you need, how many victory points you get for not having everything, and kind of the requirements down here. These tend to be skinnier and longer. In the Tasty Mantle, they went the opposite. So they're going to be taller. Gives you what you need. And then the scoring down here. So I, 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 these are kind of a wash to me, I guess. And the icons are here and there. I don't really see a huge difference. And just depending on what you like better. Not, not a huge difference. Um, both have the plus five. Very thick cardboard. If I had to pick, it'd probably be the Tasty Minstrel version. You also have these bonuses that you're going after in the game. This one has a more cartoonish look. It's also smaller. You can see that a lot of the components are smaller than the new one. Um, other than that, it's just maybe just the size isn't as dramatic as the tiles I just showed you, but it might just be a matter of which art you prefer. Last but not least is the actual coliseums you will be building. The bigger ones are Days of Wonder. These two right here are Days of Wonder, and these two are Tasty Minstrels. You're going to notice right away that it is much, much smaller. I'll put that there just for show. You can see how much smaller that is. And the Days of Wonder one has a lot more detail due to the size. I'll have to say I do like the size of this better, but that's what's going to happen when you shrink the board, right? That's to be expected. Um, overall, uh, I think the Tasty Minstrel version is a very nice upgrade. A few things that I would point out, you know, the coins are a lot better, the Tasty Minstrel. Uh, the board is a lot smaller, so you're going to have uh, less table space being hogged up by this game. The tiles are going to be smaller, and the coliseums you'll be building are going to be smaller, and that's to be expected. I like the upgrade in art. I love the upgrade in color. I like color in my games. The dice are probably an upgrade, and I think these pieces, while arguable, these are really, really nice. Don't get me wrong, but arguably I think that most people like the new figurines better. I could be wrong. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty good reprint. I wouldn't say that's a dramatic upgrade. The coins, obviously, putting those aside, it's not a dramatic upgrade. It does shrink the game a little bit. And I would say this is a fine successor. I think just the pleasing of the eye of the use of color is nice. If you have the old one, based on components, I, I'm not reviewing the game quite yet, but based on components, I don't think that you need to upgrade necessarily. Although I think the upgrade is worth the money if you want to get rid of your old version and keep the new version. I'm undecided what I'm going to do yet. I'm not going to make a decision based on components. But I would say the components in Tasty Minstrel game is better. 
uh, depending on what it would cost you to upgrade, it may be well worth it. I mean, coins like this are pretty pricey. So if you can upgrade your copy, I think it'd be well worth it just for the coins. And not to go on too much about that, but those are a pricey thing to have in a game. Um, as for these wooden blocks, I'm just going to come down if you like this better than what we had before and kind of see the setup of the game. And you want that little bit extra table space that the new version will give you that doesn't require as much. Overall, I think this is a great, great upgrade. I know there were some concerns about the art. It doesn't particularly bother me. I actually like the art quite a bit. And I hope that um, if you get to try the new version that you like it as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Please like the, the video if you did so. And subscribe to the channel. I'll be happy to show you more of what we have. And look around our channel and see if there's any other videos that may interest you. Thanks for watching.